hello everyone in this video let us take a look at uh, showing remaining estimates on your uh, portfolio plan so in the previous video we spent some time uh, talking about uh, how ranking works in uh, life plan and uh, improved interface and uh, if you are learning portfolio for jira i highly recommend you to uh, watch that video because uh, ranking is important uh, concept in uh, jira software and if you are using jira uh, software along with portfolio for jira then uh, uh, you need to know how ranking or the behavior of the order of those issues in the hierarchy will work so today we are talking about uh, something uh, different equally important but uh, uh, this is basically in response to a feedback or a question that i received on the community so a user was asking about how to display the remaining estimates and uh, he was actually uh, asking about uh, number of hours or uh, when plan is configured using uh, not story points so today we will learn first how to change the uh, configuration of the plan and will use uh, uh, will basically configure the plan to use uh, days or hours instead of story points and uh, this can be done by of course uh, going to the uh, configuration of your plan um we'll then take a look at how to show the remaining estimates on your live plan and of course the improved interface so for doing this i will uh, move on to uh, my um my jira instance where i have this plan and right now we are looking at the live interface i'll get rid of the uh, the timeline on top so right now we can take a look at the story points and the original story points so we know about the story points and how it works especially on the plan but we want to change the configuration from uh, story points to maybe number of days so let us change it to number of days or maybe number of hours it's up to you let us change it to hours that is what uh, we mentioned in the uh, presentation so let us fix let us stick to the plan so the moment you change uh, the uh, estimation you can see here that we have uh, uh, two fields estimations and uh, estimates and original estimates now we do have some numbers here but i want to show you one issue if i let us say open this oil-2 issue uh, separately i'll open it uh, in a view that you are familiar with this view where you can uh, take a look at the issue the story right now we are looking at story if i let us say click on the edit button and uh, i am going to uh, see if i can uh, add story points so right now story points are not configured for this particular project so let us uh, go back to something in uh, this particular oal uh, issue or the ol uh, project so i will open this separately and hopefully i can uh, enter the story points uh, the 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 estimates basically so if you click on the edit button of course on top you have the option to modify the field fields that you have in the issue and uh, in the previous issue my time tracking field was not added to my screen but in this particular project or especially for this particular issue type i have that particular uh, field added so i just want to show you if if i let us say if, if i'm doing estimation in the beginning i want to say maybe uh, this will take two days or maybe i should say 16 hours to finish uh, and i'm not really filling in the remaining estimate so i'll update this and you can see here on the uh, right hand side let me just you know get uh, rid of my face here so you can see here that i have the estimates here now if i go back to the to the plan and if i click on the calculate button so basically i'm trying to bring that bring that particular uh, estimate so right now we have original estimate and we have uh, the estimate field which is now reflecting the the estimates that we filled in and uh, if i let us say go back to the same plan and if i let us say log some work so if i log the work maybe i want to say that i worked on this particular issue for maybe six hours so i log my work and uh, immediately you can see the remaining estimate 
is one day, two hours. Now at this stage, if we go back to the same plan and if we do a calculate, we can see that the estimate, the, the column that you have that says estimates, not the original estimate, it will now reflect the remaining estimate. So this is how you can uh, basically uh, work on the story points, uh, not story points, apologies, uh, but the hours. So I thought uh, this can be interesting because uh, people who are new to portfolio, they might be using Jira software, but they want to track their work. They want to do the planning based on hours. So you can uh, still use a portfolio. Portfolio gives you this configuration on top where you can uh, change the planning unit from story points to hours or days. So we are talking about live plan. Let us take a look at how the improved interface can be used. So we'll do the same thing. We'll uh, take a look at the plan, the improved interface where things are very simple and easy. So you can see here that we have this plan here. And uh, for one of the issue here, let us say for uh, uh, the issue that says, uh, I mean, I'm talking about a story here, of course, where we have, of course, some information about, uh, uh, I mean, we don't have any inf information, but we have these bug fixes that we want to do. But right now it says story points on top, the column is story points. So I want to change the planning unit. So I'll do the same thing. Of course, the interface is different, but uh, we are actually doing the same thing. Uh, so we can change the estimation from story points to let us say hours. If I do that, I can go back to the plan. And then I can immediately see here that we have some information about uh, estimates. But is it the remaining estimates? Or is it really the original estimate? So for doing that, let us do a quick test. Let us create a new story. And uh, I'll make sure that I'm adding a story here. I'll um, enter the title or summary, urgent uh, fixes, something like that. Maybe we have something really urgent. And at this stage, I'll not do any estimation in, on the plan. I'll simply review the change or I will, I will basically commit them so that I can show you how it looks like when we take a look at the same issue, same story in our Jira issue view screen. So right now, uh, we don't have any estimation, but if I click on edit, I can enter here, hopefully, if the field, if the time tracking field is there. Yes, we have that particular field. So I'll enter 16 hours and I'll update this. I'll go back to the plan. And before I go back to the plan, I just want to show you very quickly if I can. So you can see here that we have the time tracking field showing us a time tracking section here on the right hand side, showing us uh, estimated two days. 16 hours and remaining is of course 16 hours. I can change the view. I'll go back to the plan, my improved interface. And if I click on the, let, I'll just refresh the plan because uh, it will pick up the values that you just entered. So it will now reflect 16 hours, 16. I mean, we are talking about hours, so it says 16. But if you go back to the same plan or uh, to, so, to the same issue story, and if I log my work, let us say I log uh, six hours here again. Let us be consistent and add uh, the same thing that we did with the life plan. So here the remaining estimate is now one day, two hours. And if I go back to the plan and, and, if, I, and, and if I refresh, the same estimate field will now reflect 10 hours. Now, I was trying to add a new field here, something like, you know, original estimate or uh, just estimate. So we just have one field here. So this is something that you know you should be aware of if you're using the improved interface, because uh, when it comes to using portfolio, people get confused. And there are so many things that uh, you can, uh, uh, I mean, you need to actually learn. And uh, there are so many things that can actually confuse you. And especially if you're using uh, the life plan, things work differently. If you're, if you're using the improved interface, it has so many other great features, like, you know, you can drag and just, you know, do changes on your plan, like when you're working on the issues on the timeline. Uh, but the whole idea here is to understand how it works. 
So we'll continue looking at uh, portfolio for Jira, and uh, I want to again thank all of you for uh, for uh, making this portfolio for Jira series uh, uh, successful. It is one of uh, the mostly watched playlist on my channel, and uh, uh, you can, if you want, you can also sub also subscribe to my channel uh, so that uh, you know I, I will also get. Uh, to know about uh, whether you are interested in the content that I'm creating. So in the next video, we will uh, talk about uh, we will talk about uh, how to exclude the issues from your plan. And uh, when you're working with the portfolio for Jira, when you're working with portfolio for Jira, you have the option to uh, define the source of your issues. It could be a project, it could be a filter, but you also have the option to exclude the issues uh, that you don't really want to be there in your plan. And I also want to show you some other things when it comes to these issues that are missing on the portfolio plan and you might be wondering where exactly are my issues. So I want to spend some time on this particular topic because a lot of people get confused with uh, uh, with missing issues on the on the plan. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.